I was off a truck, tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I just, I want to know what pieces on these race cars these days aren't custom made. Oh, I think are. about everything is. Always remember what Gina Johnson told me about prior sharing. He said, boy, I don't want nothing on my car. It's going to slow it down. I said, how about me, Junior? You know, maybe I can last a little bit longer, but I get so tired. Brad Kozlowski in second when he won here in 2011. Who did he pass for that win? Bush. You know what Junior said when I told him I was getting a little tired? He said, boy, you ain't laying down on me, are you? <laughs> no, Junior. So coming into this race, Martin Truex versus Kyle Busch. The season turnaround looks like, as of today, it's split the other way. Back toward the 18. Out front by 1.8 seconds here. To the I think Mike. this is going to be a fun rivalry to see build as this season goes on because I think Truex had a race car that could compete with Kyle today and they not had the issues. But well, when you show Kyle Bush statistics like that, that's a challenge to him. And what does he do most of the time you challenge him? He rises to the occasion. And that's what he's done today. Well, he and Adam Stevens and that crew, uh, we've not talked about them on pit road. No issues, no mistakes. It's Adam and his yeah. wife, Samantha, sitting here on the, tool, on the pit box. Uh, celebrating a birthday this yeah, weekend. Yes, sir. Yeah, she might be really celebrating here in Victor Lane in a couple laps. The white flag waves over Kyle Busch. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. That's the gap to Keselowski. Well, I mean, to me, these guys have put together a pretty flawless day. I mean, they lost some track position, but otherwise, they have been flawless throughout this day. I, I just think a lot of the experience that Kyle has in the trucks and in the Xfinity cars, and with this engine package where you got to stay in the throttle, that's the way those are, those those other vehicles are. I think it really pays off for him. Last lap by, he was still the fastest car on the racetrack by half a tenth of a second over Brad Keselowski. Kyle Busch for Toyota and Joe Gibbs Racing wins the Pocono 400, his 55th career win, tying Rusty Wallace for ninth on NASCAR's all-time win list. 55 wins, and he's still a young man. Fourth win of the year, most of all drivers, and the winningest driver of this decade in the Cup Series. Uh, no doubt. All you've got to do is sit down and, and have a conversation with Kyle Busch, and you know why he drives the way he does and why he has the success he does, Mike. And if you want to know why we talk about Kyle Busch a lot, yeah. one is because he's that good. Two is because he leads a bunch of laps and wins a lot of races. Yes, yeah, I agree. Eric Jones third behind Brad Keselowski. Nice job by the two Michigan drivers. Keselowski at the highest finishing forward in second. Jones third, Chase Elliott, the first Chevrolet, finishing fourth. Like I've said about Kyle Busch, Mike, different than him and the rest of us, I got a trophy case, Jeff's got a trophy case, Kyle Busch has a trophy warehouse. <laughs> he just got a nice little bump in the bumper from former teammate Daniel Suarez. Responds with a wave. Larry, I don't want to say they made it look easy, but they certainly didn't give us a lot to talk about, did they? Well, and again, to your point, they were absolutely flawless on pit road with their four pit stops. Today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco, fuel your best. front straightaway for Kyle Busch to do that reveal as he normally pops out in the smoke. Got his best career started Pocono this weekend. Came from the outside pole.
that might led a race leading 79 laps. Where he started might have been a little bit of a clue as to how, what kind of day he was going to have. Yeah, those Toyotas haven't been qualifying great this year, but you know who Kyle Busch qualifies up front. He might be in a little trouble. <laughs> All he needs is a big ass on his chest. Take a bow, young man. Oh, get, let's get the flag first. <laughs> Came in as the favorite. He's going to leave here as the winner. They got the biggest noise of anybody in driver introductions. A lot of cheers. Got to appreciate what he does. Pretty amazing. Right now. The bow and a few boos, and like Earnhardt said, as long as they're making noise, that's a good thing. Jamie Little. And a half coming up. 